Brittany here. Today we are celebrating Christmas in July by making seashell ornaments. Today we are going to be making a little crab and a little turtle. For this project you'll need red and green paint. Uh, I'm using acrylic but you could use whatever uh, really unless they are coming in contact with water uh, any paint is fine. Um, acrylic will just go on a little bit thicker. You'll need a paintbrush to go with your paint. You'll need red pipe cleaners, some green foam. If you don't have foam, construction paper uh, could work too. Of course, you'll need some seashells. You can't see these, but some little googly eyes. Some sort of glue. I'm using a hot glue gun. Uh, if young friends are making this, be very careful. Maybe have an adult help you with that or use some Elmer's glue. Before we get started on our craft, we're going to read a story together called There Might Be Lobsters by Carolyn Cleaney. There Might Be Lobsters. Come on, Suki, you could do it, said Eleanor. She stood at the bottom of the stairs to the beach and waved to Suki. But Suki was just a small dog, and the stairs were big and sandy, and she hadn't had lunch yet, and her foot hurt a little, and she might get a shell stuck up in her nose, and she might tumble down on her head, and then she'd need stitches, and besides, there might be lobsters. So Suki sat at the top of the stairs with Chunkamunka by her side. Oh, all right, said Eleanor. She picked them both up with a tsk and a huff and carried them down the stairs. Come on, Suki, you could do it, said Eleanor. She tossed the beach ball Suki's way. But Suki was just a small dog and the beach ball was big and beachy and it might hit her nose and then it would pop and it might be too loud or it might knock her down and she might never get up again and she might have to live on the beach forever and eat seaweed to survive. And besides, beach balls attract lobsters. So Suki sat far away from the beach ball with Chunkamunka by her side. Oh, Suki, Eleanor swooped that pup up with a tsk and a huff and cradled her in her arms. Come on, Suki, you could do it. Eleanor stood at the water's edge and splashed a little splash at Suki. But Suki was just a small dog, and those waves were big, and they were whooshy, and they were salty, and they were too wet, and they might toss her out to the middle of the sea, and she might float all the way to Tasmania, or even Florida, and she might be swallowed by a whale, and she wasn't wearing a bathing suit, and besides, there might be lobsters. So Suki sat at the edge of the water with Chunkamunka by her side. Oh, Suki, said Eleanor. She shook her head and dove into the waves. Suki sat and watched beach balls bouncing and big boys running and umbrellas flapping and lifeguards blowing loud whistles and waves splish splashing with Chunkamunka floating out to sea. Suki barked for Chunkamunka to come back. Chunkamunka started to sink. Suki started to paddle. She paddled past a big beachy ball and through a huge salty wave and over something that might even be a lobster. Until she had Chunkamunka, he was safe. Suki had saved him. She felt braver than the bravest dog because even though she was very small, Chunkamunka was smaller. Oh, Suki, I knew you could do it, said Eleanor. She picked them both up with a yay and a hooray and swung them very gently through the air. Suki sat in the sandy sand with the wavy waves and watched for lobsters with Chunkamunka by her side. And they didn't see one all day. The end. Okay. 
We are going to start off by painting each of our shells. I'm going to paint this one red and this one green. Okay, once your seashells are dry, we could go ahead and start gluing on our body parts. So I'm going to do the crab first. I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and I'm gonna go ahead and fold it into sections that I can cut off. And I'm just going to snip. So I broke this into fourths and then I'm gonna cut each one in half. All right, so now we have all of our little crab legs. So I actually got rid of two of the pieces from that pipe cleaner that we cut into eighths. I took a different pipe cleaner and cut slightly bigger pieces for our crab claw. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm just gonna make little hearts at the end to make our little pincher just like that. So I'm gonna take this one I'm gonna bend it and then bend the tip up and fold it in. So we have other little hearts or little Ys and that's going to be our claw. Okay, now that we have all of our parts, we're gonna go ahead and glue them on. I'm gonna use my glue gun. This part of the shell is going to be the back. So I'm gonna flip it over. And just gonna put some glue. going to gently press our little legs in there. Make sure that you have enough. And then we're going to put the crab claw in the Just give that a moment to dry before you do the other side. Okay, now that we have our legs glued on, we're gonna go ahead and glue on our eyes. And then we're gonna glue on our string. So I just did two dots of glue and I'm gonna take googly eyes. It doesn't matter what size. And if you don't have these at home, you could even use a Sharpie. All right, so we have our little eyes. We could pull off the excess glue later. And then last but not least, I'm going to take a piece of twine, a nice size ball of glue there, and we're going to press it in without burning ourselves. All right, and there you go. Now we have a little crab. Next up, we'll do our sea turtle. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our green turtle. So we already have our painted shell. Now what we need to do is draw and cut out our head and our two sets of fins. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make a bobble head, kind of like a bottle where it's bigger on the top and then comes in. And then for the fins, I'm gonna kind of make a bean shape for them. So I'm gonna make two big beans and two little beans. don't have to be the same size. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. Okay, now that we have our turtle's body parts cut out, we're gonna go ahead and glue them. So this is going to be the bottom of the turtle. So I'm gonna glue the head up here. So again, just like the crab, I'm gonna put some glue 
glue. All right, now we just need his eyes and his little string. Again, I'm going to do two little dabs of glue. I'm going to go ahead and press the eyes on. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and glue in the twine. If you're using Elmer's glue, you're definitely going to have to do this process slower and let one thing at a time dry. Uh, hot glue, you could pretty much do everything right away. Alright, and there we have it. We have our little turtle and we have our crab. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you again soon. Have a great day.